In this video, we are going to discuss about electric field. Okay, i-discuss natin yung electric field by doing this simple experiment sa dalawang tape. Yung tape na yan, regular tape lang yan na kinuha natin dito, no? Regular, kahit anong klaseng tape. You can do it yourself. Ngayon, uh, eto yung sticky niya at saka yung sticky niya magka, magkaharap. Tingnan mo nangyayari sa kanya ngayon. Pilit kong pagdidikitin. Uh, ayan, ayaw niyang magdikit. Ang tawag niya, nagre-repel siya. Ngayon, subukan natin i... Subukan natin na tanggalan ng charge to, no? Parehas. I-scrub natin ganun. Makikita natin lalo kung paano yung... Uh, forces ng electric field o yung uh, yung electric field build principle ayan o, oh. ayan, nakikita nyo mas lalong nag re-repel anong ibig sabihin nito ayan o, oh. ayaw niyang magdikit kahit na anong mangyari ayaw niyang magdikit, nagtutulakan sila no? kahit walang pwersang nasa gitna nila ang ibig sabihin niyan, may mga electric field na nangyayari dito sa mga charge na to at bakit sila nagre-repel? Kasi parehong material, ano? I-scrub pa natin, ano? Scrub pa natin. Makikita mo, lalong repel na repel, oh. Repel na repel. Okay? Ayaw nilang mag-dikit. Ayan, oh. Makikita ba dyan sa ating video? Okay. So, yan po ang nagpapatunay na lahat ng bagay may charge at nag nagkakaroon sila ng influence sa surrounding at yung influence yung yun sa surrounding ang tawag daw po doon electric field so we go now to our lecture and I hope you will do this uh, on your own para makita ninyo na bawat isa o ng microscopic level nagre-repel siya ano? so there will be an influence of uh, everything on anything okay Kapag ka-electric field yung pinag-uusapan, uh, hindi natin may iwasan mapag-usapan si Michael Faraday. So, born 22 September 1791 to 25 August 1867, he was an English scientist who contributed to the study of electromagnetism and electrochemistry. His main discoveries include the principles underlying electromagnetic uh, induction diamagnetism and electrolysis although para they receive little formal education so isipin nyo isang taong konting formal education lang yung uh, uh, meron siya pero ang laki na naging contribution niya sa buong mundo ano? uh, because he is the one who uh, discovered or introduces the concept of electromagnetic field and from there doon na na-develop yung uh, yung mga concept sa electricity ano so uh, he was uh, not receiving uh, much formal education na nag-research nga ako tungkol dito kay Faraday hindi nga siya marunong ng trigonometry halos puro algebra lang yung ginagamit niya but uh, nung dumating si na Maxwell si na Einstein uh, they develop what has been uh, invented by uh, Michael Faraday hanggang na develop na na-develop na nila and uh, para sa kanyang ano para sa kanyang uh, memory ay uh, sa honor ni Michael uh, Faraday binigyan siya ng isang unit na sa kanya nakapangalan which is the Parad ano so siya yung naka-discover ng electric magnetic field anode cathode electrode o yan pag-uusapan din po natin to Although talagang palalim na po ng palalim ano ano sa mga ano po ito mga sa mga capacitor sa mga battery or sa mga diode yan po yung mga pag-uusapan natin pagdating natin sa electricity. And according to uh, Michael Faraday, all charged objects create an electric field that extends outward into the space that surround it. The charge alters that space causing any other charge object that enters the space to be affected by the field. The strength of the electrostatic field is dependent upon how charged an object creating the field 
is and upon the distance of separation and the charge of the object. O, so, parang ano lang din, ano? Parang Coulomb's law, uh, kung gaano kalakas yung uh, charge, at saka kung gaano siya kalayo, ganun din, ano? So, ang ibig sabihin nito, ang bawat bagay daw ay nag exert or nag uh, create ng electric field. Okay? Outward the space surround it, ano? Hanggat mas malapit sa bagay, mas malakas yung electric field. Mamaya i-model natin para mas madali niyo maintindihan. Oh, density of lines in patterns ano. Yung daw electric field na i uh, na i-present daw yon by uh, lines ano katulad nitong mga lines na to. So uh, we can present it with uh, lines kapag ka daw outward yung uh, projection Ibig sabihin, outward yung mga uh, electric field lines na pinoproject, positive daw po yung uh, charge na yun. Ano? Kapag ka negative yung charge, edi eh uh, papasok daw po doon sa charge. No? For example, we have charge A here and it's represented by uh, these lines. Makikita mo yung electric field line, yung density ro niya, yung lakas ng electric field lines, ay na model sa dami ng araw. Kapag kakakunti yung araw, mas maliit yung, o mas kukunti yung density ng electric field. Kapag ka dumadami yung araw, mas malakas. At kapag napakarami, talagang malakas na malakas po daw dun yung electric field. Kagaya nitong nakikita natin, the density of electric field lines around these three objects reveals that the quantity of the charge on C, itong sing to, is greater than that of B which is greater than that on A. So, uh, kapag ka po sa unang tingin lang, nakita mong masyadong dense yung pagkaka-represent ng uh, electric field, ibig sabihin, mas malaki daw po yung charge. No, ano, no? Ito na yung sinasabi kanina, kapag ka positive po yung charge, uh, outward, ano? The direction is uh, directed outward. Direction ng electric field. Kapag ka naman negative po, Uh, towards no? towards the charge yung uh, representation ng electric field lines the electric field direction is always directed away from the positive source charges and towards the negative source charges so lagi po natin tatandaan kapag ka positive po yan laging away kapag ka negative laging towards the source charge yung ating electric field lines representation. Okay, we try now to model kung paano ba yung nangyayari sa electric field. Uh, kumuha ako ng simulator dito, no? So, we are uh, checking the electric field. Pwede mo rin naman ditong ipakita yung direction, voltage, values, everything, ano? Kunwari, meron tayong positive charge. Kapag nilagay daw natin yung positive charge na yan, magkakaroon siya ng electric field, no? Na may experience noong surrounding. Uh, let us try to model that. Ito. Ayan, kunwari yan yung uh, charge na inilagay natin, ano? So, paano ba ginawa ni Michael Faraday yung, ano, yung, uh, yung kanyang experiment? Sabi niya, kapag karo may isang charge at naglagay ka ng test charge, malalaman daw nung test charge na yon yung intensity ng uh, electric field nitong charge na to, dahil mararamdaman daw niya, no? Uh, hanggang lumalapit daw siya ng lumalapit din sa charge na yan, palakas ng palakas yung electric field na mararanasan niya. So, uh, kung positive daw yung test charge na ilalagay natin, Uh, of course, it will uh, experience a pulse of, uh, force of uh, repulsion. Ano? Halimbawa, maglagay din tayo ng positive test charge. Somewhere here, sa malayo. Yan. Kung mapapansin mo, itong test charge na to, meron din siyang sariling electric field. May charge din siya. Ano? mag -e exert din siya ng electric field in, in his surrounding. Itong isa to, kung saan gusto natin malaman yung magnitude ng electric field natin, sabi ni Faraday, kung gusto mong malaman yan, lagyan mo ng isang test charge at idikit mo, no? Tingnan mo, habang idinidikit ko yung isang charge na to, palakas ng palakas yung kanilang influensya. At makikita mo, 
mas malakas pa yung uh, parang uh, nagbabago yung kanilang mga nagbabago yung kanilang mga direction ano? okay so yan daw po yung uh, epekto ng ng test charge kung gusto mong makuha yung electric field dito maglagay ka ng test charge at kung anong makuha mo doon sa computation mo yun yung uh, electric field ngayon na uh, tingnan natin mabuti no? siguro maglagay tayo ng sensor somewhere here dito yung sensor at lagyan natin ng voltmeter okay kung mapapansin mo ang layo nilang dalawa ito yung metro subukan natin yung layo nilang dalawa no from here to here ay ilang meters yun 694.7 meters yan yung pagitan ng dalawang test charge subukan natin ilapit ano pero ang voltage niya ito 5.21 pag inilapit natin halimbawa somewhere here nagipay voltage lumakas habang papalapit siya ng papalapit papalakas siya ng papalakas okay so yan po yung uh, nangyayari no papalakas ng papalakas yung voltage hanggang kapag ka malapit na malapit na siya it will experience a force of a repulsion ano ngayon pagka lumalayo siya ng lumalayo tinan niyo lumalayo din yung uh, voltage kapag titingnan mo tong uh, equipotential na to lumalayo din pag malayong malayo na sila sa isa't isa halos hindi na nila mararamdaman yung uh, yung electrostatic field yung uh, electric field hanggang mawawala na ng influence sa bawat isa. So, yan po yung uh, tinatawag nating uh, electric field lines. Ano? On a microscopic level nangyayari po yan, kagaya ng tape kanina, yung tape, pareho ng charge, nagre-repel siya dahil pareho siya ng materials, ay niya magdikit. Talaga pong bawat bagay may ganyan. Ano? Ngayon, uh, positive po yung nilagay natin na yan, at charge. Tabi muna natin itong ating mga gadget. Ano? Uh, ngayon naman, kunwari, negative test charge, test charge naman. So, alam naman natin na yung, uh, yung okay, edi ganyan. Ano? Pagka negative naman, so, attraction naman ang mangyayari, no? makikita mo yung uh, sensor papunta dun yung but just the same hanggang lumalayo ay lumiliit yung value pakita nga natin nandito sa sensor halimbawa nandito yung sensor natin maliit na maliit na yung value nya no? tapos uh, habang lumalapit nagne-negative sya o oh. okay, pag ibig sabihin ng negative forces of uh, attraction yun ano kasi magkaiba nga nitong dalawa, forces of attraction kaya negative. Alright? So, pag lumayo ng malayo-malayo hanggang mag-zero na siya pagdating dun sa dulo. No? Okay. So, uh, ganyan po natin i-minomodel yung ating uh, electric field. I hope sa uh, mga naipakita kong ito, na i-model kong mabuti kung ano nangyayari sa electric field. Pag nilapitan natin siya, malapit na malapit, so malaking malaki na yung magiging uh, potential niya. No? Okay, uh, with this, I hope uh, yung uh, konsepto at prinsipyo ng electric field ay atin nang uh, na-inhibit or na-conceptualize. Na On a mathematical aspect, electric field is defined as the electrostatic force per unit charge. The direction of the field is taken to be the di direction of the force. It would exert on the positive test charge. So, uh, force per unit charge, force over Q. Yun daw po yung electric field. No? But this uh, electric force na to, this is the electrostatic force na tinutukoy ni Charles Agustin de Colomb, ano? And then, this one is the charge. So, if
going to rewrite this one, we can have uh, the electrostatic uh, force is equal to uh, the electric field multiplied by the charge. So, yan, isa pang uh, derive natin na formula from this uh, general equation on electric field. Wherein E is the electric field, F is the electrostatic force, and Q is the charge. Ngayon, uh, if we want to uh, dig further on the electric field, i-define natin itong uh, electrostatic force. The electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion or repulsion between uh, two point charges okay, is directly proportional to the uh, uh, to the magnitude of magnitude to the product of the magnitude of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So, ito daw po yung electrostatic uh, force, wherein this one is K. Ngayon, kung yan yung K, tapos di-divide pa natin yan sa Q, for example, ang test charge mo ay uh, Q2, therefore, Q2 will be, will be cancelled out, and you will end up, so, that is F sub B and this is Q. That is your E. You will end up with an E that is uh, equal to KQ over R. O, so, yan. Ganyan po yung ating uh, mathematical aspect naman ng uh, electric field. Yan. Meron pa tayong mga ibang formula ng electric field. Kaya lang, uh, bago natin na uh, pag-aralan yun, ito muna ang tatlong ito. Magbigay muna, tayo ng, uh, magbigay muna tayo ng mga example sa tatlong to, no? Para hindi naman tayo. Let us analyze this problem. A water droplet of mass 3 times 10 to the negative 12 kilograms is located in the air near the ground during a stormy day near the ground okay an atmospheric electric field of magnitude 6.0 times 10 to the positive 3 newton per coulomb points vertically downward in the vicinity of the water droplet the droplet uh, remains uh, suspended uh, rest in the air. What is the electric charge on the droplet? So, nag-drawing ako ng droplet dito, no? Kumpare, uh, raindrops. And then, uh, i-model natin, kunwari, yung ground ay nandito. Okay, nandyan yung ground. Ngayon, yun daw electric field vertically downward, ano? Towards. So, vertically downward daw yung electric field. Pag ganyan. So, kung vertically downward sa toward, this must be a negative. Kung i-model natin, ano? Ngayon, kailangan ito maging negative to para may repel niya, ano? The only thing that will keep this, uh, that will keep this uh, raindrop or uh, water droplet from hanging into the air and resting into it is to have a resisting force, ano? So, uh, repulsive force. Eh, vertically downward. So, uh, kailangan pala dito maging negative yung charge nito kasi malamang negative itong ground, eh, no? Alright. So, uh, pag-aralan natin, ano? Ngayon, of course, magkakaroon ito ng uh, force of gravity, okay? Force of gravity laging pababa. So, ang tawag natin dyan, yung weight niya is equal to mass times the gravity. Now, if this is at rest, okay, and uh, that is in equilibrium, dalawa yung, uh, dalawang pwersa yung uh, uh, sumasagabal sa kanya. Isang, uh, isang pwersa ng electrostatic force 
at isang kwersa ng uh, uh, tawag dito gravity ano so uh, tingnan natin kung paano no ang sabi sa atin yung electric field daw is equal to the electrostatic force divided by Q okay so yung uh, electrostatic force na kumukontra sa kanya para bumagsak siya is equal to uh, E times Q. Okay. E times Q. Alright. So, this will be Q. Uh, okay. Burahin natin to. E times Q. Yan. Ngayon, yung uh, Q niyan must be uh, a negative uh, a negative charge para umangat yan. Ano? So, therefore, if this is a stress, we can apply the second uh, uh, law of uh, Newton's second law. Summation of forces at y, ito na ngayon, is equal to zero, upward to be positive, and that will be, okay, F sub E, F sub E which is, uh, which should be upward, okay, and uh, F sub G, Minus, that's always downward. F sub E should be upward. Kasi, uh, vertically downward na nga yung, ano, yung ating uh, electric field. Ano? Is equal to zero. But what is F sub E? F sub E is actually, uh, that is negative dito. Ano? Bakit? Because negative yung ground. Kanina pa natin sinabi, dapat negative tong charge na to. Therefore, Q times negative E minus mg. Ano yung mg? That is going down. Okay? Because upward positive tayo, eh, going down yan. Okay? That will be negative. Or, kung gusto mo rin naman, you can look at it this way. Uh, going down pa rin yung uh, electrostatic uh, force, negative q sub e minus mg is equal to zero. Therefore, transposing this one to the other side of the equation that becomes positive, then may negative tayo doon, ganito lalabas, no? After which, we, trans uh, we uh, substitute all the values. We have this one as the uh, mass, and then G is uh, the gravitational uh, pull of the Earth, times 6. This is the... Uh, electric field. Ngayon, uh, kapag ka tinignan natin yung uh, if we would like to analyze, okay? If we want to analyze the units right now, uh, etong kilogram, dali ha, etong kilogram na to, tsaka meter per second squared na yon newton yan, cancel sa newton sa baba, okay? and natira ay kolom. So, there you have it. Your answer is negative 4.9 times 10 to the negative 15 columns. Okay. Let us have another example. A dipole is set up with a charge magnitude of 2 times 10 to the negative 7 columns for each charge. One is positive and the other is negative. The distance between the charges is 0.15 meters. What are the magnitude and direction of the electric field at the midpoint, okay, midpoint of the dipole? Assume the positive charge is on the left. Also determine the force, magnitude, and direction for an electron at the position in the field. At that position, at this position in the field. Okay. Use K as 9 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter squared per column squared. First stop, unahin muna natin kung ano yung dipole. A dipole is a simple example of this system. is a pair of electric charges of equal magnitude but opposite uh, sign or opposite in direction, separated by uh, some typically small distance. So, kung meron daw ditong charge na positive, dito ay may negative, and equal daw yung magnitude ng charge na yan, kaya lang magkaiba ng sign, 
ang tawag daw po diyan ay dipole ano kumbaga sa atin sa civil engineering uh, forces of equal magnitude but opposite in direction couple naman ang tawag natin ano dito naman dipole so uh, imo-model natin yung dipole kapag ka i-drawing natin electric field of course this is positive yung lahat ng field lines niya away ano kaya yung uh, yung ating mga arrow papuntang ganun ano away from from the charge ito naman negative toward the charge kaya pa, uh, toward the charge yung ating mga arrow ano tapos ito papaganoon din so uh, kung gaano raw karaming field lines nito ganun din karaming field lines nito kasi pareho siya ng magnitude ano so uh, the electric field uh, will be field lines will be the same. Okay. So, if we are going to model the, ito yung uh, lecture natin sa dipole, ano? If we're going to model the dipole that is given in the problem, so we have here as positive charge and we have here a negative charge. They are equal in charges and separated by 0.15 uh, meters. So, paano daw po ba ang uh, modeling nito. Ang modeling nito, itong positive, away. Okay, the electric field lines will be away from from this charge. And ito naman negative na to, it will be toward parehong pareho nito, no? Okay, at tinatanong sa atin, the electric field at the midpoint of the dipole, ito yung midpoint. Kunwari, gitnang gitna to, ha? Tinansya ko na lang, wala akong skill dito. So, if that is 0.15, that will be 0.15 over 2 or uh, <coughs> pag kinalculator natin siguro 0 0.075 ano uh, we don't know now uh, so that is 0.15 over 2 <coughs> now if we are we're going to uh, sum up forces at the horizontal and uh, we say the electric field from both charges will point to the Right, pareho, no? Kasi ito nga, papunta ron at ito papunta ron, ha? Thus, the overall electric field is also to the right. The magnitude of the overall electric field is the addition of two electric fields caused by the charges. Kasi nga, pag nag-sum up ka ng uh, forces, it will be uh, discharge plus discharge kasi pareho sila ng direction, ano? So let us uh, do that. If we if we're going to solve for the electric field, that will be the uh, <coughs> E positive, okay? Electric field of the positive charge plus the electric field of the negative charge. But what is the electric field of the positive charge? KQ or Q over R squared. Sa negative charge, ganun din, kq over r squared. Ngayon, tatanong mo bakit hindi negative to kasi nga yung sign ng mag-prevail, ano? yung modeling ng sign. Ano? Remember, paulit-ulit tayo dun sa columns lo dati. We're just pertaining to the magnitude of uh, the electrostatic force. Eh, ganun din dito sa may electric field. Ano? We are modeling it and meron tayong tagubilin na kapag ka yung charge ay positive away, and kapag ka yung charge ay negative toward, no? So, uh, this one will govern, therefore, uh, summation of forces at x is equal to 0, e plus, uh, plus e minus, okay? Therefore, that is kq over r squared plus kq over r squared. Ito yon. We factor out kq kasi parehas lang naman ng charge kasi ka dipole yan. Kung nagkataon hindi parehas yan, hindi pwede natin gawin dipole equal in magnitude but opposite in direction but the direction but the sign is neglected because we are modeling it as an electric field therefore kq we can uh, <coughs> neglect the sign and uh, we can factor out kq and then we have i over r squared plus uh, 1 over r squared plus 1 over r squared but uh, we have to define what is R squared. R squared nya, uh, we are modeling uh, from the midpoint, okay? We are getting the electric field from here. So therefore, uh, 
this one will experience uh, the electric field here going to the right and uh, he will also feel the electric field coming from this charge going to the right kaya nga naging positive pareho yun ano? therefore uh, yung R niya parehong 0.7 uh, uh, 0.15 over 2 so ito yun ano 0.15 over 2 after computation uh, this is uh, this problem is ya uh, copied from the book ano hindi na ako nag uh, nagsulat ito na rin yun after computation sabi ng libro we have 640,000 newton per volume now if you want to get the force on the electron that is simply f is equal to q multiplied by e ngayon uh, meron tayong charge ang charge natin is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 okay and multiplied by uh, 640,000 so ang lumabas natin na uh, electrostatic force is uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 13 newton. So, yan po daw yung ating uh, final answer. We have problem number 4 and I think this will be the last problem because uh, uh, with the variety of problems that I have shown you, I guess uh, uh, this will be the last uh, para matakel or masagutan yung lahat ng tanong sa simple uh, electric field equation. Find the magnitude and direction of the total electric field at the origin of the coordinate system due to the two point charges Q1 and Q2. The two charges are located at XY coordinate position of 0, negative 2 centimeters and uh, positive 4 centimeters 0 respective, respectively as shown in the figure. Okay, uh, this is the figure. Ito raw po yung ating uh, y at ating, ating x. This being our origin. Yung daw uh, q1 is 0, negative uh, 2. Ito po yun, yung q1. And then yung uh, q2 is positive 4, 0. So this is q2, no? Ngayon, as shown in the figure, meron daw itong 10 micro uh, nano column. So, meron daw siyang uh, 10 nano column at ito naman ay may 5 nano column. So, uh, pa paano natin na uh, paano po natin imomodel ito, no? So, from here, i-drawing natin, i-drawing lang natin yung uh, uh, magiging effect nito kasi ang sabi sa atin uh, find the magnitude and direction of the total electric field at the origin. So kunwari nandito yung ating uh, sensor what will be the effect of this uh, charge to this sensor? And the effect of this charge to this sensor will be called E1. Ngayon kung ito ay uh, positive uh, test charge eh, positive din to so mag magre mag uh, ano no mag repel itutulak yung pag ano no now in here naman positive uh, ten din yung uh, micro uh, nano column sorry eh positive din yung test charge natin itutulak ano so this will be the electric field caused by uh, uh, charge 2 and this will be the electric field uh, caused by uh, charge 1. Okay. Now, if we want to get electric field 1, that is K multiplied by Q1 over R squared. So, uh, the distance from Q1 to uh, from Q1 to 0 is uh, 2 centimeters. That is 2 times 10 to the negative 2. So, uh, ano nga mangyayari sa atin, ano? We are going to use, sabi dito, we are going to use K as, uh, okay, we are going to use K as 9.0 times 10 to the 9. 
newton meter squared times column squared. Okay. So, ayan yun, ano? Now, uh, kapag sinabstitute natin yung value, this will be k and 5 times 10 to the uh, negative 9 column, that is nanocolumn, over 2 times 10 to the negative 2 meters quantity squared. Ito raw po yung lalabasan ng uh, uh, electric field 1 natin. Ano? So, yan po daw yung lalabasan. And then, kapag ka naman na uh, kinuha natin yung uh, electric field 2, ito yun. That will be experienced sa uh, Ito, ito. <clears throat> that will be experienced by, at this point, cos by uh, Q2. So, ganun pa rin. Uh, 9.0 uh, times 10 to the 9, kasi yun daw gagamitin natin, Newton meter square per column squared, times 10. 10 naman this time, kasi 10 yung uh, charge, nano column, that will be times 10 to the negative 9 column, divided by 4 times 10 to the negative 2 meter quantity squared. Ito raw po yung lalabas sa sagot natin. Ano? So, if we try to model, para lang tayong kumukuha ng anong uh, araw ng vector analysis, uh, we uh, connect from tail to tail and the resultant will be from tail to the uh, uh, other corner of the parallelogram kung mapapanismin yung parallelogram method natin. And uh, the resultant can easily be computed by Pythagorean theorem. The, the electric field, okay, the electric field resultant is equal to the square root of uh, E sub 1 squared plus E sub 2 squared. So we will be having the electric field as 1.25 times 10 to the pip newton per column. Okay. If you are going to find the direction, so uh, tangent of theta, which is opposite over the opposite side over the adjacent side, that is E1 over E2, our tangent, makukuha natin yung negative 63.4. Now, if we are going to uh, base our uh, our theta from here yung nasabi natin our theta always comes from the uh, x axis from the first quadrant that will be kung ito ay uh, 63.4 that will be my uh, 180 minus 63.4 ito yung theta the theta is equal to 116.6 so that will be the uh, theta, 116.6 degrees. I hope maliwanag, ano, ang unang-una natin muna, i-summarize natin, medyo mahaba, ano. I-graph natin kung nasaan nakalocate yung mga point charges, okay. And then we are asked to find what is the electric field at this point, at the origin. Ngayon, i-analyze natin kung anong magiging epekto ng Q1 sa point na yan. Ayun, i-minodel natin, it will be repulsive force or the electric field will be going uh, away kasi uh, positive test charge nga. And then, what will be the effect on this uh, point of this, uh, of this charge? The effect on this point of this charge will be going away. Therefore, meron tayong E1 and E2. O ito na nga po yung uh, computation. Ito naman, direct substitution lang dito. And then, ito naman yung parang nagbe-vector analysis lang tayo. So, we have a parallelogram method. Tail of the first to the tail of the second. And then, uh, make the parallelogram and connect from the tail to the other uh, corner of the parallelogram. That will be your resultant. And your resultant is simply uh, uh, solved by Pythagorean theorem. That is E is equal to the square root of E sub 1 squared plus E sub 2 squared. And we got this E. And then we get the uh, angle here that can be uh, uh, solved by tangent. And then we reference our uh, final angle from, from the uh, x-axis. 
So, uh, ganyan lamang po natin sinosolve ang ating mga electric field using the first uh, equation that we have learned. Okay, let us try to model this one. Motion of a charged particle in a uniform electric field. Okay. So, uh, for example, we have this... Uh, two plates, one is positive and one is negative, and we have an electric field, uh, we can uh, consider that as a uniform electric field, you know? uh, separated by a distance d. Now, uh, alam naman natin from the electric field equation that uh, the uh, electric field is equal to uh, E is equal to uh, F over Q. Ngayon, from there, we can say the electrostatic force, F sub E, is equal to uh, E multiplied by Q. But what is uh, but what is F equal to? That is actually, we can say, F sub E, if we want to get the acceleration, is equal to the mass multiplied by the acceleration. So if we are going to equate these two, we will have uh, E. Oh wait, ah, muna natin to, no? So we will have uh, we will have E multiplied by Q. E multiplied by Q is equal to MA, you know. Therefore, divide both sides by E. So we have Q to be equal to Q is equal to uh, MA over E. So uh, this is our uh, equation for uh, Q. And if we want to get A, in this case, A is equal to what? A is equal to EQ, okay? So, EQ over, that is EQ over M. So, EQ over M will be A. So, uh, these are the formulas that we have derived from uh, this one. Okay. If you want to get the charge, you will have MA over E. This is E. And if you want to get the acceleration, you will have EQ over M. Wherein A is the acceleration. Okay. In meter per second squared. M is in... Uh, kilograms which is the mass okay that will be in kilogram this will be in meter per second squared and e is the electric field which is newton per newton per column so this is the electric field and q is the charge in column okay so this is the uh, definition of the formula and this is the formula, no? So, uh, we have now another uh, equation or set of equations involving uh, electric field under uniform uh, situation, no? So, uh, this one is uh, our formula. So, for our last... Uh, problem a uniform electric field e is directed along the x axis between parallel plates ito na ngayon yung katulad kanina no of charge separated by a distance d as shown in the figure a positive point charge q of mass m so this is positive point charge q of mass m is released from rest so, if that is released from rest, the initial velocity is equal to zero. At a point A, okay, this is point A, 
next to the positive plate and it accelerates to a point B that is next to the negative plate. Ito nga. Kung ito raw yung una natin, uh, from rest, going there, no? So B. <coughs> Find the speed of the particle at B, here, the final uh, velocity, by modeling it as a particle under constant acceleration. So if we have a constant acceleration, so uh, F is equal to uh, MA, you know? And uh, yung A natin, <coughs> ano nga ba yung sabi natin kanina? F is equal to uh, EQ, okay? Which is equal to MA, okay? Therefore, we can uh, erase this now, okay? And then, uh, we want to get acceleration. We divide both sides by M. Divide both sides by M. Therefore, there you have it. A is equal to EQ over M. Okay, so yan po yung ating uh, working equation. Now, we are starting from rest. We are asked to find the uh, uh, final speed at point, point B, starting from rest from A. Therefore, alam na alam naman natin yung kinematic equation natin. Bf squared is equal to uh, B sub i squared. Okay. And then uh, plus 2 As. But what is S? S is equal to D, the distance here. Actually, you can uh, say that this is A times X sub uh, F minus X sub 1 or delta X. No? But uh, we can uh, pasimply na lang natin, mas madaling intindihin. 2AS, but the, difference, but the distance between them is D, therefore... Uh, to AD. Okay, so uh, B sub I is equal to uh, 0 plus 2 AD. So uh, B sub F MA is squared on, let us instruct the square root of both sides, therefore you have it like that one. Therefore, B sub F is equal to the square root of 2AD. But what is this A here? What is this A? Actually, this A here is equal to this A here, right? So if we are going to substitute value, we have B sub F is equal to the square root of 2 and A is EQ okay, over M times uh, D. There you have it. Uh, that is your uh, final velocity. Square root of, uh, bakit may square root? Kasi ito, square root to, no? So, square root dyan, kaya may square root dyan, no? So, that is, uh, saan naman ang galing ito? Okay, paliwanag natin, ano? Yung B sub F, okay, B sub F, square, then, uh, is equal to 0 na nga yung 0 na nga yung ano B sub i plus 2 AD o pangitang pangitan na burahin natin tong 0 na at kuha na natin yung square root ng both sides ayun kaya nagkaganyan po ito ano kaya nagkaganyan yung uh, B sub F Okay, so uh, 
Ba't yung A na to? Itong A ay EQ over M. So, yun po yung ating uh, velocity. Okay. Uh, I guess by now, uh, you already know how to solve problems involving uh, electric field at different uh, scenarios, uniform or non-uniform um, uh, or constant uh, acceleration, you can solve that, okay? So, yan lang po yung uh, take natin sa electric field at uh, if you find some, uh, some meron pang mga dalawa pero sa tingin ko it's uh, more uh, more appropriate kung sa uh, electricity or circuit one, circuits 1 nyo talaga kukunin, sigurado naman i-discuss pa rin yun para mahaba-haba yung time natin. Ano? But just to get by, siguro uh, uh, more than enough na po itong mga naibigay natin sa inyo tungkol sa electric field from conceptualization hanggang dito. So uh, muli po, ito po ang inyong Sir R squared na nagsasabing uh, ingat lagi, kain dami, at tulog aga. May God bless us all. To God be the glory.